All morning long, we've been live in Annandale as folks there gear up for homecoming. We're told, though, that no visit to Annandale is complete without a stop at the historic Thayer Hotel. Chris just left the elementary school, and he joins us now live from the hotel. And, Chris, I understand that this place is known for a few things. It's known for its history. It's known for its food. I don't hear anything. And it's known for their guests, their I ghosts. Oh, you don't hear me. Okay. Well, just talk. Well, hi, Megan. Sorry, I'm having a little uh, audio difficulty. Okay. I couldn't hear that uh, I was actually on TV. Sorry about that. Maybe it's the ghosts. Because we're inside the Thayer Hotel in An Annandale. We I have Brian Krebsbach here. Brian is the operator of this place. What a beautiful hotel. Uh, Brian, how long have, have you guys uh, had, the, had the hotel and restaurant? We got it in 2018, so it's been about a little over five years. Five years now. So, tell me a little bit about the history of it. I mean, you when you were coming into town, it's so beautiful and grand. I mean, it really does look like you're stepping back in time. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, the uh, uh, it was built in 1895 as a railroad hotel, uh, and then uh, it was uh, basically that for uh, small several years until the passenger railroad ended. Then it became a living hotel, and it was about to be torn down in the uh, by the 80s. Uh, the day before it was torn down, it uh, it was saved. By, it was put on the National Registry of Historic Places, in large part to, to, a, to a Julia Barkley. Ed Kaz told us she didn't get enough credit for that, so shout out to Julia Barkley and her family <laughs> for saving the building. Um, well, it's such a neat spot and um, so picturesque. I, I, before we get to the food, which, by the way, you've prepared a, a wonderful spread of food here, um, I would like you to sort of get into as much as you uh, – as much as we can. T tell me a little bit about the, the ghost stuff. <laughs> the ghosts, okay. Which, by the way, I'm not hearing anything right now. I'm blaming it on the ghosts. That's you guys. So uh, it is supposedly haunted. We, have, we do get a lot of ghost hunters that come in here, and uh, um, we've never really seen a ghost, but you do hear weird things, like things will sometimes shut, doors will shut on their, on their own. Um, uh, it, um, yeah, it's, lots of people are, are very, um, very... They love it. They, they come. You're not going to. You're not trying to find them, though, is what, what I understood no. from talking to you earlier this week. So actually, when we first were getting the place, we, we knew it was haunted, uh, and we, we kind of had discussion: is this something we want to promote or not really? And we decided we just leave it alone, not really talk about it. Yep. And like 75 percent of the uh, the clientele would ask about the ghost. So yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, it, weird things do happen in here, but um, it's, it's supposed to be one of the most haunted buildings in Minnesota. Uh, I don't know. It's. <laughs> All right. I don't want to talk about that anymore. I'm getting scared. All right. So let's talk about some of the food that you have. Um, this is for Oktoberfest. It's sausage platter. Tell me about this. Uh, we're doing this for this weekend special. It's a sausage platter. We have kaba uh, kabasa sausage, ring bologna sausage, and um, uh, smoked pole sausage. That's going to be served with uh, uh, baked cabbage, garlic mashed potatoes, and a breadstick. Oh, my gosh. Those mashed potatoes are amazing. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Uh, and does this, how long will the, will the Oktoberfest special go on? Well, he'll do a different uh, special each weekend. This will go for this weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, mm. and, then, uh, and then next weekend we'll be do, doing another one. So. Oh, my gosh, that is so good. That is so flavorful. Oh, and drinks have arrived. Grasshopper for you. Uh, that's my favorite drink, actually. Right. Um, tell me about some of the other items here. Yeah, uh, well, this is our pork back ribs, uh, and then we got our coffee rub salmon here. This is our berry brie chicken, and then that one over there is going to be your filet Oscar. Uh, Bob, uh, he, he won awards on both the ribs and the uh, filet Oscar. He took first place in contests on both of those. Uh, these two items are pr pretty much are, they're huge customer favorites, um, very popular. So we wanted to uh, display those too. Well, uh, forgive me for not being uh, foodie enough. To, what, what's a filet of Oscar? What? Oh, so it's a filet mignon uh, topped with um, uh, cr crab meat, bernet oh. sauce, asparagus spears, and then, um, yep. I mean, this is really this is really fine dining. I'm imagining that there aren't a lot of options like this in Annandale. We are a little bit unique. <laughs> You're not going to find too many places with all this stuff on here. I mean, we do sell burgers, chicken strips. Uh, we have uh, we have breakfast on Sundays, so we do have a full menu available. What do you like the most about being in this business and this particular location? Oh, um, honestly, I, meeting customers is great. Um, that's that's a lot of fun. Um, and the location, uh, it, it's, it's funny, we, um, this brought us here and uh, my, my, our family in uh, the 80s, and then we had all moved away, and then it came for sale again in, the, in uh, 2018, so that's when we all came back to Annandale to buy this place, to, to work on this. So. Oh my gosh, so it's a whole family affair. So. Whole family affair. All right, so another, this is great, another drink just arrived, what do we have that here? That one's a key lime martini. 
that's going to, yeah. And then we got the, uh, the first one was a grasshopper, and we have one more coming. She's coming right now with a Snickers martini. This one's probably the most uh, popular of our martinis. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at that guy. I don't know. This is the right way to, it's the right way to do dessert here, too, because your belly's going to be so full from this food, you couldn't actually have real dessert. <laughs> no, we, we do have real dessert, but a lot of people bring that home. So if you need a to-go box, we have those. <laughs> All right, I better not drink anymore. I'm not going to be able to get home. All right, this is fantastic. Well, what are, what are your hours for folks who might uh, want to come up and check it out? We're, we're closed Mondays, but we are open um, every day of the week other than that. We're open for lunch and dinner. Um, Monday, uh, Tuesday through fr uh, um, Saturday, and then we're open on breakfast as well on Sunday. So um, basically 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. on the weekdays, and then 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. on the weekends, and then we open at 9 a.m. on Sundays. All right. Well, we didn't hear any weird noises or anything over this time. So uh, aside from – I'm going to throw it back to the studio, but I, I can't hear anything. So, Megan, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I will, I'll box some of this up and, and bring it back, and, and we'll bring it back to Channel 5. So thanks again, Brian. What a great spot you have here. Well, it's good to meet you. And we're, we're glad to have you. So. We appreciate it. Chris back is to you, eating Meg. like a king this morning. That food is so vibrant in colors. All right. Thank you, Chris.